Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my Ipsy bag and bagging. This is getting out of hand. See, Porter does this thing where he scratches the couch and the blankets and all that so he can get comfortable and he'll lay on it. But he does it for like hours and hours. And then I feel bad to stop him because, you know, he looks like he's having a great time. And there must be a purpose to why he's scratching it. Why is he scratching it right before he lays down? Is it to make the couch warmer? Maybe that creates friction and makes it a little hot and then he lays on it so he's like nice and warm. I don't know, I'm not a dog. Oh, he's done. See, a little patience, never hurt anyone. <laughs> anyway, so today's video is going to be my Ipsy bag I'm bagging, which is why I don't really have makeup on because I'm gonna be applying some of these products to my face. You know the drill. I do this with all my unboxings. Well. I only unbox Ipsy and Boxy Charm, but I do this for both of them. I didn't post a video last month because my bag literally got here on the last day of the month. Sometimes Ipsy does that, sometimes I get it like on the 10th, like really early in the month, and sometimes it takes a little bit longer. I don't mind, but when it comes to uploading a video, I do kind of mind. It's like, I would like it to get here a little sooner so I can post about it. Anyway, I'm in my pajamas. I was gonna change before I filmed this video, but I was like, you know what? My subscribers like me for who I am, not for what I wear. Because I'm gonna be honest, I'm not going anywhere today. Okay, so let's just get in here so this is what the bag looks like this month it has like tiny little holes everywhere if you're someone who doesn't like holes i know that a lot of people have like a fear of holes or think holes gross them out you might not like this bag it comes with a little card inside and it also came with the first product in the actual pink bag because i guess it didn't fit in the ipsy bag so let's just tackle that one first this is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye illumination i have tried the regular bye bye under eye but not the illumination version so i'll be trying that today they sent the shade medium which i feel like it might work for me it has like that pinky tone to it it's a very very thick concealer would cover your dark circles like this the only thing that throws me off about having concealers foundations, BB creams, or anything like that in the bag. It's like, how do you know what color to send? I know on the Ipsy website, I did like the little survey and I put my skin tone and all of that, but do they go through each and every person and make sure that they're sending the correct tone? I don't know. I feel like for subscription boxes, concealers and things like that that are specific to each person's skin tone can be a little difficult. I don't know, what do you think? Did you guys get this in your Ipsy bag and is it your exact color? I would love to know. And I am gonna try that on, but there's actually a BB cream in here that I'm gonna try on first because it would only make sense to put my BB cream on. And then that, let's open this. Actually, let's look at this guy first. So, this is the Pretty Woman Nail Polish. I love receiving nail polishes. I feel like I can never have enough. So this is the color Perfect for Spring. It's a really pretty lavender lilac shade with a little bit of pink. This color actually reminds me a lot of a color from Kale Polish that has not been released. I love nail polish. I love trying different nail polishes. I love trying out new brands and just seeing what's out there. I'm like addicted to nail polish. I would try this on my nails right now, but I am wearing nail polish already. I was doing like some product shots of something and I had to put on nail polish, but anyway, so you get a cute little nail polish. I love getting nail polish in subscription boxes. Okay, so the next thing in the bag is actually this little guy right here. This is the Real Chemistry Luminous 3 Minute Peel. Since I don't have a card that tells me everything, I go by what the bottle says. So it says it's not a mask. Cleanse skin and leave slightly damp. Spread gel thinly and quickly over your forehead, cheeks, chin, neck, and decollete. Quickly begin massaging these areas in a circular motion with slightly damp hands. After about 15 to 20 seconds, solids should form under the fingertips. This means the peel is activating correctly as the gel is now combining with your dead skin. I was gonna try this out right now, but my face needs to be damp, my fingers need to be damp. Let's see what it feels like on my hands. Oh, it's like a gel. This is like one of those chemical exfoliators where you feel like your dead skin is coming off, but I don't know if that's dead skin. I'm always skeptical about these kinds of products. The ones you start blending into your face and then like little balls start to pill up and it's supposedly your dead skin, but I, I don't know, I, I find that so crazy. Oh, whatever, let's try it. I'm gonna go dampen my face. Okay, I've got a damp face and a damp towel and my hands are damp. Let's hope this doesn't irritate my skin because my bumpies are coming back. There's like six on my forehead right now. I don't know what's happening because I haven't had any kombucha, so I don't know what is happening and why they're coming back, but they're coming back, so. Maybe I should avoid my forehead. Or not dampen my hands. Yeah, you see like, I feel like it's impossible to lift all of this dead skin almost instantly. Like the second you start rubbing it in, 
It's like your dead skin comes off. I don't know. I don't know if that's a dead skin, honestly. I'm gonna go rinse this off. It's a little hard to rinse your face when you have your eyebrows on and mascara. Okay, so my face feels really, really soft when I touch it, but kind of feels a little tight. It's a luminous three minute peel. Oh, I was totally not doing that for three minutes. But it just feels like tight, but it does feel really soft. I don't know. I'm torn. The next product in my bag is this little guy right here. This is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 35. I've never tried this before. I used to use the BB Water all the time. I loved that last summer. They sent me the shade Light Slash Medium. And when I swatched it on my hand earlier today, yeah, it's like too dark for me. Is that right there. <laughs> it's going to be too dark, but we're going to do it anyway. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I didn't even zoom you in. So, I mean, the color is obviously, <laughs> obviously too dark for me, but once you start blending it in, it's not terrible. I guess because it's a BB cream, it doesn't really have much coverage. So I just finished watching the series finale of Gilmore Girls. My friend Stephanie is like obsessed with that show. So she's been asking me to watch it just so that I can watch A Year in the Life. So I watched all seven seasons of Gilmore Girls and I have to be completely honest with you, like I was so underwhelmed by that series finale. So many unanswered questions. It wasn't terrible, it was not like a Dexter finale, but it wasn't my favorite. Okay, so this is the BB cream on my face. Obviously, it's not my shade. I like the finish. I like the feel. I like that it's very, very light coverage. Like, I mean, it's a typical BB cream. I do notice that it looks like it has more coverage in certain areas and then lighter coverage in others. But maybe that was probably the way I applied it. I feel like it's a little patchy in some areas. Okay, so now we can test out the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination Concealer. Oh, why did I zoom out? I'm all over the place in this video. I am so sorry. By the way, this brush I was using to apply the BB cream, this is from It Cosmetics. It's Love is the Foundation brush. I think I purchased it during like a breast cancer awareness sale they had. I think this was like limited edition for that and I think they brought it back and I'm obsessed with it. I bought it at Ulta. It's a freaking heart. How cute is that? So I'm gonna take a little bit of this concealer and I'm gonna apply just smallest amount underneath my eyes. A little goes such a long way with this product. Like I said, I have the original Bye Bye Under Eye and it can get really intense. So I'm just gonna squeeze a tiny bit out. Stop it, Porter. That actually looks really good. I think I'm gonna apply just a little bit more. I have a very dry under eye, so a lot of the times this concealer doesn't really work for me. Like right now, you can kind of see the dryness. Every time I use this concealer, I have to, well, the original, I have to put on an eye cream underneath, like a nice hydrating eye cream. That's the only way I could use it, but it's just so good to cover up your dark circles. It covers everything. It's so full coverage. I think the Illumination one might be less coverage than their original one, because I don't know if you can tell. What do you guys think? Let's put some over here. Okay, maybe it is the same coverage as the original. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this right here and right here just to brighten up the under eye area. Okay, so I actually do really like this concealer. I think it is more illuminating than the original now that I applied some more. It is very brightening. I don't know, I think I really like that. It does look a little bit drying underneath my eyes. If you have very dry under eyes like me, it will look a little bit cakey. Just remember to use very little and maybe you're gonna wanna put an eye cream underneath. I highly recommend that. Okay, so then the last thing in the bag is a brush. This is the Beauty Basics Contour Blush Brush. It's for contour and for blush. Personally, for me, it's just too tiny for blush. I don't know, I mean, I'll try to use it today for blush, but it's just, so small. For contour though, this could definitely work. I just never really use brushes like this to contour. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronzing Glow and I'm gonna take the bronzer and I'm gonna just contour my cheeks. I did not set my face or my concealer. I just realized that, but this mirror is dirty. I can't see anything. Yeah, this brush is definitely, my face is orange. This brush is definitely small enough to get right into the hollows of the cheeks, so this is really good for contouring. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Apricot in the Middle blush. 
and I'm gonna clean my brush off on this towel and let's dive in. Not my favorite way to apply blush at all, but I mean, it's not terrible. I just prefer a bigger, fluffier, rounder brush. Personally, I would recommend this more for contour than for blush, but that's just me. Okay guys, so that completes this video. That was everything that was inside my Ipsy bag this month. I have to be completely honest, the only thing I really liked was the under eye concealer. Oh, and I'm sure that this nail polish is really good too. These two things were the only things that really tickled my pickle. The rest I was like, um, you know, that BB cream, not my shade. A lot of the times I really, really like Ipsy, but this month was kind of like, for me. But yeah, let me know what you got in your Ipsy bag. Did you love it this month? Did you hate it? What did you get? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Who disturbs my slumber? Hey. I'm sorry about you. Oh, of course I'm hungry. So I'm, so I'm gonna take a little bit of it. Personally, I would recommend this more for con- Personally, I would recommend this more for contour than for brush.